rolling uh, real quick. Our last video, Skunk City. Uh, if you was watching that and you got cut off at somewhere in the neighborhood of up to the 10 minute mark, there's 30 minutes of video there. There was a glitch. We originally thought it was our internet connection dropped out while we was watching it. Rarely, but it happens. But we found out it was more widespread. There's more to that video than the first up to 10 minute range. Uh, it's a 30 minute video, so if you didn't see all that, there's more. Go back and watch it. Uh, I'm thinking YouTube had a, a glitch or a maintenance thing or something. But anyway, uh, the rod holder that broke the other night, there at the end when we was wrapping that video up, we have dissected the rubber plastic coating off of that to see what went on with this connection. I didn't see it in that lighting. It was dark, you know, the camera brightened it up quite a bit over the actual light level. In the video, I seen just a little bit of shiny right there and a tad bit over here on this side. That was the stem that was sticking up through the ore lock. Uh, and it looked dark in the middle. And there again, I only seen that in the video afterwards. And this is the stem, so we skint that rubberized stuff back to expose it. Appears to be what was an attempt at a spot weld right there, which should have went up and grabbed this cross piece. Should have. Anyway, there's two Two appears to be spot welds. One got some on the stem here, and the other, which didn't get much up onto this part, a little bit. Now this one got a lot on the upper part, the actual holder itself, but missed the down stem. You can see that little bit of shiny, very little penetration, if any. It cleaned it up. They went together like this. So that's how that come to twist off in my hand with very little pressure. So we skint that rubberized stuff back to look at that. And uh, like I said, you all know where this stuff was made at. There's a phrase coined that I like. I'm not going to say where it come from. Uh, Chineseium. Chinese metal, Chineseium. Well, the metal seems to be okay. But they can't weld. <laughs> I don't know if a machine done this or they have sweatshop lines trying to weld that or what. How many millions of these do they have to do a day to earn a dollar? But anyway, the spot weld gave up. That's how these are put together. Uh, no heat, no penetration. And one of our decent sized fish, the way they hit sometimes, would have broke this off and I'd have lost that uh, rig. I'd have lost this and that rig. Because it stunned me how very little pressure when I held this to loosen the nut, spin it around for the cover frame, just broke off in my hand. Just, it nearly fell off in my hand. It didn't really break off. There was no pressure. I just held it like that to loosen the nut and over it went. It was done. But anyway, a quick dissection of this. I'll not buy no more of these. I'll not take it back. I don't have the packaging. I don't have the receipt. I don't even want to fight them for it, okay? This is a Nozark Trail Walmart brand rod holder. And I knew that going in. But it's like I said before, you know, they come in, they run everything else out of business, then they raise their prices and get cheesy stuff. Uh, but that's what happened. There's no penetration. There's no heat. There's no good attachment one to the other. If y'all are using this, watch your rigs. Seriously, watch, watch your rigs. You know, good hit if you get down one of these rivers and hook up 20, 30, 40 pound catfish. It's gone. It took just a few pounds of 
holding pressure to break that. So, now, with that out of the way, just be warned. The point of this is, ah, it's warning. If I don't pick that up, it'll end up in my tire. <laughs> mm -hmm. It'll manage to puncture a tire. If it fails at everything else, it'll do that. But anyway, be warned. These welds are not that good. Uh, I'm not buying another one. You know, I said in the last video, I'm not a big fan of the rod holders anyway. Uh, be it the kind you stick in the ground or on a boat or whatever. I like to handle my own equipment. Now, if these served a dual purpose, that would have been great. Uh, but it's not. I'm not going to trust the other one either. It's coming off. Today, pull noodles. Either later this evening or tomorrow, I'm going right over there. If you look, uh, that building with the big satellite dish above the U-Haul there, that's Home Depot. And we're sitting in our parking lot. I'm going over there. Uh, it depends on when supper is ready, how much I eat, and how much I want to kick back after we eat supper. We've got, what is that, baked chicken in the crock pot? Mm -hmm. Do you call that baked or what? Yeah. All right, baked chicken in the crock pot with all the sides and stuff. Might not get over there tonight. Might be too lazy. <laughs> so, anyway, bought the pool noodles to line the new frame with. We'll walk over there tomorrow at the latest, get the, uh, the next materials I need, the PVC pipe and the T's and all that sort of thing. And we're going to fix that boat frame. Uh, we're going to make a standalone. It's not going to depend on hooking in here. Uh, to hold it up, it's going to set on the bench seats like I described last video. And uh, we're going to make that work. And remind me to check on a new fire extinguisher. Like I said, this, you can feel that lump in there and it's not moving like a powder wood. So we've had this a long time. 2015, and that's the year we bought it. It is set there and set there. If you come in a little closer, dear, here. You can see where it's rubbed the uh, bottom of the boat, sitting in the bracket there, and it's worn a spot in it. I don't want it to wear much more and then have an unintended discharge all over the place while we're out or going down the road one day. Hmm. I don't want to look in the mirror and see a big cloud of that yellow-green looking powder flying everywhere behind us. But, uh, we'll, we're going to replace this. I keep forgetting about it. This is something that's easy to forget about. You don't use it every day. Hopefully you never ever use it. So it's easy to hit a back, back burner and get forgot about. But we're going out fishing. Uh, Miss Abby starts school tomorrow. This is Wednesday. Uh, we don't have her the rest of the week or the weekend. Now we're watching the weather. If you give a good sky shot there, you can see clouds. We don't know if it's going to rain or not. Uh, and like I said, a, a normal rain don't bother me. I don't want to go out in the storms. We get caught out and it starts a nice regular summer rain. We're there. We got ponchos. We've done it before. So a picture up here. Ain't a big deal. But we're going out fishing again very soon. But wanted to update on this thing and give everybody a warning. If you use Ozark Trail rod holders, be very cautious. Be very cautious. Um, these are seven dollars and change, ain't a big deal. You don't want to lose it overboard, but you don't want to lose your rod and reel and rig with it and it'll be gone forever. We will never ever get lucky again and find those rigs like we did on the one video. Uh, that'll never happen again. We should have bought every lottery ticket we had money for that night on the way home and won the lottery. That was just a really lucky day. But uh, anyway, be warned of these. Be cautious. Be aware. 
uh, you know, I'd lost 60 bucks worth of gear if that would have went overboard with a fish. That's enough, okay? I don't, I like what I got and I don't want to lose it. Uh, but for those of you that fish with more expensive things, just be aware, these, these are not great. Now they weld these and they run them through, they dip them in that rubberized plastic stuff, whatever that is, coat them and you can't see what's going on there with that connection. And like I said, it took, I say very few pounds of, you know, I, I grabbed it like that to loosen the nuts. I could spin around to hold the cover frame. When I grabbed it, started loosening the nut, it just collapsed over and it was done. Uh, very few pounds or less. And as you can see, you know, it's just that little dab of shiny there. Um, there. There was no penetration. They missed half the connection. They really did. So just be aware, don't, don't put unlimited faith in these things. Uh, now there's another one up here that I haven't opened up. I can tell by the hump, looking at it, that spot weld is down here and it's not up on this upper U bracket. The inside I can't really tell. But there's a hump right there in that plastic and it's below the joint. So. Uh, Anyway, we'll be back with you folks, and we're going to build the, uh, the cover frame, or we're going to go fishing. Not sure which one is first, but we got four days, and we're going to put them to use here. Cooler temperatures. Might be raining. Might not. Uh, cooler temperatures, and we're going to get some stuff done here. We're going to have some fun. Thanks for joining us, folks.